Hey, what's up reefers? This is Reefer Matt, and this is my 36 gallon bow front. Now some of you may have seen my SBS tank and thought that was my only reef. Uh, this is actually my oldest tank right here. A lot's changed over the years. I've taken some coral out and things have happened, uh, but this is pretty much what it looks like uh, today. Got a huge green, uh, I believe it's a sinual area here, uh, leather coral. And I got that from my neighbor's tank a few years ago before we moved. I got it as a little tiny little frag and uh, that thing's bigger than a basketball now. I try to leave this tank as natural as possible. Uh, sometimes I'll intervene with things, uh, but this tank has things like hydroids and bubble algae in it. And though they're a little unsightly, uh, it's not something that I look to eradicate. I just clean it up a little bit with water changes and that. Uh, but as you can see, the tank doesn't look too bad at all. Now, zoas have always been one of my favorite coral. Uh, back in the day, I had a bunch of different types of zoas, and uh, getting back into the hobby, I definitely want to get some too. And this tank was very zoa heavy for a while. And uh, for some reason, I had a bunch of them die off. So I've just been adding them slowly back in with other coral as well. And I got that toadstool leather from my buddy Jay. Hey, thanks, Jay. Yeah, pretty much this tank sits upstairs in my uh, front living room. And uh, the grandbaby gets to look at it, and she likes to look at all the different coral and stuff. And it's real relaxing, so I just like to sit in the rocking chair with her, and we just kind of look at all the coral. And uh, especially these Xenia here, I had to get those for her. They're just kind of cool how they open and close. And I don't mind if they take over the tank a little bit either. Yeah, this tank's pretty much a stress-free tank. Uh, honestly, I don't even test the parameters in this tank. I just do monthly water changes. But if something does seem off, then I'll go ahead and test it. But it's just something I'm, I'm more hands-off on this tank, and I just kind of let it naturally do its thing. Lighting for this tank is provided by two current R24 lights. Uh, I got these lights from Chewy when they first came out, and I got a really good deal. It was a half-off deal. So these two lights with the controller and everything were something like 250 bucks at the time. And I think it's double that now, but it was a really good deal at the time. And uh, here's my overflow box. Uh, this tank is not drilled. This is uh, what I knew back in the day, so this is what I went with when I uh, did this tank. Uh, it's just a single overflow, one drain. Uh, there's the uh, overflow box, the other side of it. And it's just one drain tube going down to the sump. And yes, this tank's a little bit noisy because it has one drain and no valve on it. Uh, but I did put like a little pop bottle in there to kind of help with it. It's got like a little tube. You know, that muffles the noise a little bit. And here's the return nozzle that I need to clean. Uh, nothing fancy, just a little gooseneck. I have it mounted up so it doesn't siphon so much water out of the tank when the pump turns off. This tank was my first tank getting back into the hobby back in 2018. I previously had a tank in 2005 and I had to get out in 2006. So when I came back into the hobby, I got this tank at a PetSmart as a combo. And uh, I just used what I remembered back from uh, back in the day when I started this up and I pretty much left the same filtration system on it. And as you can see, I spared no expense with this sump. That's just a 10 gallon Rubbermaid container. And I may upgrade to an actual 10 gallon aquarium, I'm not sure. Uh, I, as you can see, I gotta clean the light there. I used to have some Chato in a basket and I'll probably put that back to help the nitrates a little bit. As you can see, you don't have to spend a ton of money on a reef tank if you don't want to. This tank is almost six years old, and this setup still works great to this day. And yes, that is some sound deadening foam to help with the water splash noise because it's a single drain. Next to the tank is this cabinet here. I use this to uh, store all my supplies for the tank and also to mount my controllers and power supplies. As you can see, I still gotta clean this up. I changed some of the pumps and I just never got back to doing it. This kind of sits in the corner so nobody really sees it anyway. Uh, and I use these containers with a doser as my top off. I use this Jabo doser here, which I have to repair because it's out of service right now. Uh, that's my top off for, my, uh, for the tank. Well, I hope you enjoyed this peek at my 36 gallon bow front. Reefing doesn't have to be that expensive if you don't want it to be. I'm Reefer Matt, thank you for watching and happy reefing.